there's something about being out in nature and just being in the solitude that is fantastic. And it doesn't matter if you're ultra light or if you're ultra heavy as far as your gear. Um, just being out here and enjoying it is one of the best things that you'll ever experience. Hey everyone, it's Tropical Zach. Uh, as you can see, I'm here at the trailhead for June Lake up at Mount St. Helens. This is a great hike. Uh, I had to take a uh, road, Forest Service Road, which is all snowed in. Had to take that in, uh, and that's about a mile hike here, and then up this trail, or up the road to the trailhead. So now I've loaded up, I've got my fuel, I've got my food, I've got my clothes, I've got my snowshoes, uh, my trekking pole, I've got all my gear, and everything all together is 44 pounds. So what's going on is uh, there's some wicked winds that are coming down off of the mountain and there is a little bit of concern of some avalanche uh, this weekend. So I think I'm going to avoid going to June Lake. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little uh, stealth hiking. All right, so I think I found a, a good little sort of stealth camp spot. It's down in this sort of little bit of a gully here. I got a decent tree here, a decent tree here. Um, I'll probably take and clear this out with, some, with a snow shovel, maybe even cut in some steps. I think I'll be protected from the wind. Uh, I don't have any, uh, don't have any widow makers up there. Well, I've got everything all set up in camp. I'm warm, I got water, I've got food. I got some wood because I have a little wood stove that I'll be using. See, I've got my hammock all set. I've got really everything that I need. I've got all my camp chores done. So I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's just, it's a great day. And look at this, look, that's, that's, that's the view. Can you see that? How awesome is that? So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what I brought up here with me. I've got a, I've got a Marmot Graviton 34 pack. Uh, it's a small pack. It's a little too small for winter camp. I've got a, uh, I've got a Feathered Friends uh, Helos down jacket. This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, literally, the moment you put it on, you start to feel warm. I've got some Nature Hike down pants. And those are great. I'd really like to try the Feathered Friends, but the Nature Hikes were a quarter of the price and they, they work just fine. They're, they're just great. So my luxury items, uh, I've got this right here. It's a little camp stool. And so I'm gonna sit here and look out over this uh, beautiful scenery, have a glass of wine and... I'm using a, a Tokes small wood stove and uh it's uh creating just an awesome little fire one of the key things is is you got to have a bunch of this dry tinder right here um and then you can move over to some larger sticks uh that you can split and then just kind of keep them vertical for the most part and uh that will make the uh that'll make the fire go really pretty well. So every time you put in some of the bigger pieces, you need to make sure to put in some of the smaller pieces. Kind of acts as a little bit of tinder to get the heat going to dry out those bigger pieces. Yeah, it's nice to have a fire when you're backpacking. And this is a pretty light stove. Uh, I can't remember the exact weight on it, but it's, uh, it's definitely not heavy. Um, you could use this, it's designed to be able to use this as a, as a wood stove for like cooking as well. Yeah, this is a great little stove right here. 
All right, so here we are in bed, uh, toasty warm. I'm in a war bonnet Ridge Runner. Uh, I love this hammock. This is like the best hammock. It's so comfortable. And I've got a war bonnet zero degree under quilt and a outdoor vitals uh, zero degree top quilt. Plus this feathered friends. Uh, I'm about as warm as you could possibly be. Oh, that's the other thing. I got feathered friends uh, down booties with overboots. Uh, and then those nature hike pants. I am just, I'm totally in heaven. If you're winter camping, make sure you do the right winter clothing. I mean, if you get into winter camping, it is hands down some of the best camping out there. There's no bugs. There's hardly any people. Um, everything's almost a new trail for you. It's just a great experience. I love winter camping. So I don't know if you can see this actually. It's really coming down with snow out there. Um, it's just, it's just about midnight. And uh, I got up and made myself broth. This is, uh, this is really one of the key things is to be able to have a hot drink or food or something, uh, you know, if you start to find yourself getting a little bit cold uh, at night or even right before you go to bed because they, uh, they give you a little bit of nutrition. So now your body's got some stuff that it can do to process and that will, uh, that will give it um, some energy going at night so you'll sleep warmer. Well, it's, uh, it's time for me to end the day. Uh, I'm going to head back to the truck uh, down at Marble Mountain. Um, I've had a, a really good uh, campsite. We'll see you guys when we get back to the uh, back to our house and we go through all our gear stuff.